where do you get your background? A lot of persons have different answer to where they get their background. Some persons go to Google to get their background. Some are now using generative AI to create their background. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you what me, myself, I use. What I do is I just log in to Pinterest.com, create an account. And in my Pinterest here, you see, I already have a lot of backgrounds here. I already have a lot of backgrounds. I just have to now maybe search for what I'm looking for. Let me just do a simple search. Studio, studio wallpaper, studio background. Let's see. And it will show you all of this. But let's remove this part. Studio. So once you do that, it's going to take a little time to load and show you some studio backgrounds that you can use as an overlay for your images. They are very, very nice. So some persons will say, okay, let's let's go to freepick. Freepick.com. Let's look for studio. Studio background. Let's get it. Studio background, then you get all of this. Now, the difference between using Pinterest and using uh, free pick is that Pinterest will show you the, the background the way it can show you. Let me go back to Pinterest. Pinterest will show you the best they can show you out of the background. They will show you if the background is free. They will show you if you are, some of them, once you leave that place where you are, the background becomes a paid background. For example, let's click on this background. Now, as you're seeing this background, you can actually save it like this, just save it and use it for your job. Or you can now open it. The only problem is when you open this image, now it will take you to the website where the image is. And some of this website you have to pay. Like, for example, this is now showing me to add to cart. It's 100 and $85 for this particular ad. You can zoom it, but once they allow you to zoom it, they will just show you a very big watermark in front of it, which is what I think they are trying to do. You can copy it like this without the watermark, but the same thing as copying from here. So, I prefer using from here because I will just copy it, but some of the image, let me go back and look for a simple image. Some of the images you can just once you click on the image, it will just show you view image. No, this one is not showing me view image. The ones that they are showing you view image, you can just download it from there direct. Let's go back. We just look for anyone that is they showing me. Okay, view image. Once you see view image and you click it, it will bring you to the image itself. So you see the image the way it is and you can download the image in full size. But once it's not showing you view image is automatically telling you to go to the website where the image is and go and download it and that will now cost you maybe extra money so i use the free version which is the um the small version then for pinterest whenever you see a very nice automatic automatically in pinterest the backgrounds that are very very nice they are all paid so once you enter it they'll bring you to a page here where you're already seen watermark here now the person that has this watermark is a business person so the person that has this picture is a business person so you cannot just be downloading pictures because you want to remove watermark i don't feel that is very very necessary there are websites where people go and remove watermark but not for me i will just not use it i'll go and look for another alternative then the third option would be adobe um adobe firefly I know a lot of you did not see this particular one coming. Adobe Firefly is like, Adobe Firefly is now the new place where people just go and just start doing their thing. This is the place where everybody is just coming to now. So once you land this page, you can just generate a background, just generate studio back drop. going to let me log in i'm i'm a <laughs> i'm a paid user of this particular website so because i'm a paid user it gives me access to you know a lot of things here compared to when you're not paying when you're not paying use the phone version i don't think you'll be that much limited but for me 
it's going to work for me based on the fact that I'm paying. So it has, because I logged in, it brought me to this page where I can do more to whatever I'm saying. So for example, probably I have a background in my system. These are the backgrounds that it has generated. Probably I have a background in my system that I want to create something similar. I'll just come here, just click on, then go look for the background. Um, let me look for something nice. Okay, let me just go with this. Uh, okay, so once that image is there, I will, I will go and look for what I want it to look like. I want it to look very realistic. So I will go with... Um, no, sorry. Sorry, let me go back. Let, let me use this one instead. Then let me come here, use the same image here also. Once I put the image down like that, studio background, studio creative backdrop. So popular, I'm using the popular, I'm not using any of that. Just use popular, then I need hyper realistic. It should be hyper realistic then. Just click generate. Now this takes faster time compared to when you're using it inside Photoshop. If you start typing prompt inside Photoshop, it takes longer time to generate something good compared to when you're using the Firefly. I think the whole idea of Adobe telling you that the Firefly we are using in um, Adobe Photoshop now is 3.0, I think is a lie because the website creates something way, way better. Now, let me go back and show you the image I, I uploaded to get that. Let me show you the image. Um, okay. This is the image I uploaded to get what you're seeing. So they created something for me, but with, not with all this gold and all this stuff. So I will go back and add a backdrop, gold color, color style. So adding the gold color style maybe probably would help enhance the color there. But the reason why this is very, very nice is that once you come here and create, whatever you create, the kind of prompt you write differs. So the next person will not have your kind of prompt, so they will not be conflicting. Now you see it has created something for me. It has created something for me. So if I like any of this option, I will just go for it. If I don't like any of this option, I can just probably regenerate again. So let's regenerate and see.